Let me pull it out of my ass. Okay. I wrote this letter. Okay, I hope I don't get emotional or anything, so hold on, let me just like chill out. Okay. Um. Um, so yeah, I'll read the letter now. MND. It's been a while since freshman year of high school. A lot has happened, huh? Dear Mom, I wanted to write you a letter because I have so many things to tell you, but my Korean isn't good enough to communicate them fully over the phone or on Kakao Talk. I'm writing to both of you, my aunt and uncle, uh, to share more about recent changes I've been going through. Hi, Mom. For a long time, I guess I couldn't even fathom telling you about my partner or my queerness. But I don't want to lie to you anymore. So after 10 plus years, I want to do completely what I could not fully do back then. I am gay. But that does not mean I'm any different. I'm still your son. What I have not spoken about explicitly is that I am transgender. Being transgender for me simply means I was born in a female body, but my energy is more masculine than feminine. It hurt me when you asked if my transness was born out of raising me on your own. I reflexively said no because I didn't want you to blame yourself. You were at first of the disposition that being LGBT is a lifestyle choice and a phase, but you quickly figured out it's not going away. And more importantly, that I'm still that silly, goofy child of yours. I know I promised you that I would be straight, but I'm sorry to say that I cannot be. And God knows I tried after all of that. I hope you can understand that I chose to stay alive as a femme, but I did not choose the hardships that come with it. Whenever anyone says that, your parents must be proud of you. I think about this one thing, my gayness. Because if you knew, I felt it would negate it all. I felt like asking for another sacrifice amidst all the ones you and dad made all these years. It felt unfair for me to do that. I quietly suffered for a while, especially that next year. I almost even felt like killing myself. I didn't think you'd understand, but also mostly because I was scared. Mom, I think that may be the ultimate point of connection between us, that we are two lonely people who have struggled to communicate to the other how alone we feel. I'm not trying to rip the family apart. It's also not anything you did. It's not anything anyone did. Single motherhood does not feminize boys any more than fatherhood masculinizes them. It wasn't because I watched Rent. It's not a psychological thing either. That stuff is outdated and not true. I'm not gay because of the food you fed me when I was growing up. I'm not gay because of the medicine you gave me when I was sick. It is just who I am. Dad always said I could do and be whatever I want as long as I'm happy, I do it well, and I don't harm others. We silently agreed this was one of those things. I'm really excited to have and happy to have made this decision to be true to myself and be my most authentic self. And although my parents bring me great sadness, I am taking care of myself and I'm taking time to heal. Over time, I hope you'll learn more about what it means to be gay and why it is something that we can celebrate instead of being ashamed or afraid of. But I know you're not there yet. I know you're not ready. I don't tell you enough that I am incredibly grateful to you for what you have done, what mothers of other trans girls have often failed to do, and making sure I have space to grow, contract, and expand. I'm committed to our relationship and I'm hoping you'll continue with me. 
I'm always willing to talk about this. Just ask. I hope you'll be able to still love me now as much as on any regular day. I don't want to lie to myself or you or try to keep up an act of pretending. I'm a perfect one-dimensional person. Good, bad, ugly, beautiful, it's all me. I didn't realize I was going to get so emotional reading that. <laughs> okay. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>